and happy International Women's Day, especially if you are a mum or a teacher or both, you're my hero. So today I just wanted to share three quick reasons why women might not be reaching their potential. This is mainly in my own life and also in schools as I spend a lot of time in schools talking about teaching and learning and inspiring great literacy teaching. So the first one of these is can't. When we tell ourselves, I can't do it, you know, and every time we say it once, you hear it twice and it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy. What would it look like if you could? <laughs> That's the question. What would it look like if you could? Answer that question because that is the ticket out of can't. It comes to my own life. Don't is about our expectations of ourselves, And I've totally used that language of I'm just a mum, I'm just a teacher, as if, you know, doing that on its own <laughs> is just easy. But I, I really believe that when we have higher expectations of ourselves, it moves us forward. And I couldn't. I grew up in care. I was from an abused home. Then I lived in foster care, spent some time on the streets. I've had an awful, terrible childhood. Make your hair curl. You know, and I really had a whole world of don't. I had a whole world of no expectations because the image I had of what my life was and what was possible for me to do was n miniature. And what happened was teachers teachers believed in me and teachers interrupted my trajectory which was on the way to drugs and crime into saying you know what i believe in you i think you can do this i'm i'm right behind you and they held this vision of success for me when i couldn't hold it myself because the perception i had of who i was was that i was useless and dirty and worthless and crap so i wasn't going to be able to do anything with my life and the reason i'm standing here now is because of those teachers and i just want to say thank you not only to them, Mrs. Morley, Mrs. Cook, Mr. Bentley, Mr. Simpson, you know who you are, but also to anyone who is a teacher, you make more of a difference than any child will ever be able to articulate to you. Finally, we have won't. And this is all about mindset. In Carol Dweck's fantastic book, she talks about growth and fixed mindset. But even beyond that, this goes on to our fear of failing. Because, you know, we, we don't want to do stuff. We don't want to do something because what if I don't get it right? What if I fail? That's always our first question. Not what if I don't. We don't get to that. It's just what if I fail? And, you know, here's the thing. There's no what if about it. You're going to fail more than once. You're going to fail and then fail and then fail again. You Failing really gives us the opportunity to rebrand our failure, our mistakes, into something that's a success. As long as we have a really clear vision of what success looks like for us. What does that look like? If you know that, you have your why in place, then you can start building the how you're gonna do it, then you get down to the what and you're there. I recommend to teachers that they have a sign in their classroom which says, I heart mistakes. It's mistakes without an E. And what I'm trying to do is say, you know, we say to children, it's okay, have a go. You know, it doesn't matter if it's not right, it's okay. And we're big fat liars because all around the rooms in our classrooms, there's perfect work. <laughs> we look, we're dressed, we're not a hot mess. Our hair isn't all over the place. We know what we're doing. We kind of say it's okay to make a mistake, but we don't live it. We don't, we don't, we don't live that brand. We just kind of, you know, we give the message, but we're not really embraced. And I want to say to you, you need to start celebrating your failures. You need to start modeling failure. Fail, show them what that looks like and show them what it looks like, how it feels, and then what you do to get yourself back up and on. Um, I have a great example of failure when I went on The Apprentice and I was fired in the first week. That's with everyone I know watching, everyone I've ever trained, every child I've ever taught, every person I've ever annoyed by cutting them up in the supermarket, watching me get fired. That's the level of failure you need to be aiming for. Epic failure. Because can't, don't, won't. Which one is holding you back? Thanks for listening and have a great Women's International, International Women's Day. Have a great day, whatever day it is today.